Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Let me find you. There you are. Hey, hey, y'all. It's Friday. This has been a long week. I have no idea why. I really never knew what day it was. <laughs> it's just been one of those weeks. I'm like, okay, what's today? What's tomorrow? What You know, I'm just like so confused. I know, right, Donna? Oh, funny. Funny, funny. Hello, hello, everybody coming in. If y'all would float my boat, I'd appreciate it. It is a holiday weekend, and I'll be working all weekend. Monk and, and Tay and all of our friends are going to the river, and I am staying here to work. I know. I should go to the river. But it's Friday, so everybody get off the chair, get off the couch, get out of the bed. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> get our little jig on this morning. Hello, hello. Thanks, Vicki. I appreciate it. So, uh, Sharon Wilkins is in our VIP group, and she did this wreath, and I just fell in love with it. Y'all know I love anything red, white, and blue, but we are in the J. Marie Designed group um, where we get signs every month, and this was part of, this was one of the signs we got. I'm trying to get the ring light out of view. There we go. Um, so, this is one of the signs um, that we got in our kit this this month or last month. Maybe it was last month. I don't know. I don't even know what day it is, y'all. Um, so I'm going to do this. I did ask her if she minded um, if I did this live and she said no. As I always do when somebody has a specific design that I just love, I will always reach out to them and ask them if they mind if I do it, right? So, she gave us permission. Get out of the bed. <laughs> so, she gave me permission to do it. Nobody's ever told me no, though, right? <laughs> so, let me get our extra pieces out of the way. Um, so, I am doing on the large flower board. Now, I'm trying to use up my old sign, my old boards. So I did add the holes here in the middle. I showed y'all how to alter your boards the other day. And I added holes in between. You do not need to if you have the new board, okay? Because your holes are already there. Um, so you would just do um, every set and then in between, okay? Um, so that's, uh, thanks for the stars. The link for the doll faces. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so for this wreath, this is what we're doing. We are doing the red, white, and blue all the way around in the rolled petal. Um, so here's your count. You need 32 blue, 24 white, and 16 red. Okay? 32 24 and 16. So I'm going to bring y'all down so that we can get started. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, so for the rolled petal, for most of these, I'm doing two petals in. You missed it, Jean. You late. Where you been? You're going to need two petals in each. Now, the ones I added in between, I'm only doing one petal, okay? 
So to make the world petal very easy, um, we will start off with the blue. I have one for each roll to show you. Have been bending for some reason and I have to put them under blocks. I have not had any problems. You're using the Unique in the Creek boards? Okay, so 10 by 10. I did not heat seal these, y'all, because you're not going to see most of the cut edges. Um, so they are unique in the creek. Um, how are you storing them? Are you storing them flat or are you storing them standing up? If you store them standing up, you might get a little bit of a, a not flat board. I, I just couldn't think of the name of it. Um, so if that happens, just lay it flat, put something heavy on top of it, and it'll straighten right back out, I promise. Oh, thanks. Oh, tell him I said thank you for his service, Denise. That's amazing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Sharon. If you store, you did miss the Friday dance. If you store them straight up and down, they may warp. Thank you, Pam. I, could, I just lost the word. So I always store mine flat. All right, so 10 by 10, curved side up. Take the inside of your mesh, and I'm actually gonna mark this one because I do not wanna throw this one away because this one is a little bit bigger in diameter than the other ones, um, and I love this one. So it makes our rolled petal just a little bit bigger, not much, but I like this one. So I'm gonna mark it so I save it. Okay, just put it down on one side and just roll it, y'all. Just roll it. And then flip it so that that end where we left off is face down. Flip it up. Put them side by side. Now I left my bands in the other room, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're going to do our other one. So 10 by 10, curve side up, roll it, hello, hello, pull it out, turn it, flip it, and put one side by side. And then we will just put this right in our board. Okay, so I have already started. Um, so the outside row is blue, and then we have the white, and then we have the red. So we can just start putting these in here. Hello, hello, everybody. So if you can see on the other side, I like for them to all line up right next to each other. Okay, see that, how they all just line right up? If they don't, pull them, get them where you want them. You are storing them flat? I don't know, then they shouldn't be warping if it's the unique in the creek board. It kind of, Mary, it kind of stretches on its own. As you do it, it kind of stretches. If you want to stretch it more, um, you most definitely can, but it'll stretch on its own. All right, so we're going to put in all our blue, and when I get to the white, I will show you that petal again. So what's everybody doing this weekend? Who's cleaning and who's working like I am? <laughs> Please tell me somebody else is. I don't want to be the only one working. Hello, hello, y'all. Yay, y'all are working with me. The um, the landscapers were here yesterday, and my front flower beds are all fresh. Topsoil added, mulch added. So now I've got a blank slate. 
and I have to decide what I want to do out there. I do have some flowers planted. They did plant some of the flowers I bought, but y'all, I have had no luck in planting flowers out there. So, I'm not planting a lot this year because our winters have been so cold that it literally is killing everything I plant out there. So, I'm going to pots, y'all. I do pots in the back. Well, because they're my cactus. So I'm thinking I'm going to move some of my cactus to the front to fill in all my blank spaces. You're late, you're late. Memorial Day community be awesome. That'll be fun. It's from a flood. Oh no, Debbie. That stinks. So if anybody wants this one, it is $85 and that includes shipping. <laughs> Diane. <laughs> so if you want this one, shoot me a message. And I am having a sale on my website all weekend where I am slashing prices and I will be posting wreaths. Y'all know I am horrible about posting my wreaths, right? Um, so I'll also be posting some that never made it to my website. <laughs> so go check it out, monkeyscreations.com. I've even updated my kit numbers. I've added one-off kits um, that I had an extra of that I found while I was cleaning. Y'all know how that works for me. Um, <laughs> so one-off kits are added as well. Hello. All right, our blue is done. So let's get these clipped off. There we go. Now we are going to the white. Now, on the white, all of my regular hauls. You did miss the Friday dance, Patricia. Where you been? <laughs> so all of the regular holes are getting two petals. All of the in-between are getting one petal. Okay. So I stopped off with two. So this one is getting one petal. If you want to do two and make it even fuller, you can. This is the large flower board. Okay, and then we're going to go to two. Oh, let me show you the petal. I forgot. I saved one for each roll for y'all. And I'll show you how it kind of stretches on its own. Okay, so 10 by 10, curl side up. Just wrap it around, okay? Right here's where we ended, so I'm holding that down, pulling out, okay? We're gonna turn it over to where our part ended, down. Now watch when I push it down, it's gonna expand. See how it does that? So it stretches automatically. Hey, hey. I have a zip. You hate it? Oh my God, no. It will be your best friend, I promise. If you are, it, just, it takes a little bit to get used to them. But once you get used to them, you will love it. Promise, promise, promise. Okay, turn it down. Flip it. Put one side by side. Like I start to have anxiety attacks when I can't find my zip tie gun. 
<laughs> That's how much I rely on that thing. Oops, one went into the zip tie, one didn't. There we go. How can you message me directly about a rose flower? Just hit that message button um, on my page here and it'll go in Messenger. Or you can email me um, at monkeyscreations100 at yahoo.com. Now I will tell you, it does take me a little bit to get back to y'all. So don't get mad. I do eventually get back, but it takes me a while because there's just too much going on. I think I just don't, oh, you don't know how to use it. Yeah, that could be. But I promise you, once you figure it out, you will love it. Okay, and once again, I'm just trying to make sure that these are side by side. Oh, that's one. These are two. You're so welcome. It's easier just to message me directly here on the page. Emails, I have to fish through all of my emails that I already get to get y'alls and it just gets crazy. Yes, if your zip ties aren't already tight, just keep pulling that trigger until it's tight enough that it will cut it on its own. Um, see here, one, it didn't cut it, two, it cut it. Okay, so it really depends on how tight you already get your zip ties in. Oh, thanks, Marie. Oh, my craft, y'all, that, that's my storage, and it's still a work in progress. I mean, I literally worked on that thing for hours yesterday. Um, and I, I'm, I'm having a huge D-stash sale in the VIP group. And so they're probably getting tired of me and hoping it's over soon. <laughs> but... I, the, I have made a promise to myself that I was going to keep cleaning and keep de-stashing until I didn't have any anxiety walking into that room. And this room too. This room is next once I get that one done. But it's, it's just, it's just a mess. I can't do it no more. Courtney. That some people can't buy. <laughs> Am I missing a white pea? Y'all, I'm always missing one. I guess I just don't know how to count, y'all. Okay, we're going to two. I'm looking to see if I have a white somewhere. Because I know I counted y'all. I know, Mary, I, like, I need to put a, 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 a clause in there that once I sell it in the D-stash, if I need it, you have to send it back. <laughs> I know, shipping to Canada is crazy. All right, let me see. 
I swear I counted y'all. See, I knew I did. So let's fold this one and then we'll do one more red. Hey, hey. So this is the single one that goes in between. So 10 by 10, curve side up. Roll it. Pull it out. Turn it over. Flip it. And then we'll put this one right in because that's our last one on that row. And then I will show you the red. You have trouble when doing the row after row. The petal wants to separate. I it, it does. And you can see mine are too, but I'm just putting it right back into place. Um, you have to remember, you're not going to see down here. So if you have to put it that way over a nub or something, you're not going to tell it. You're not going to be able to see. Um, so don't worry about it. Just get it in there. All right, let's clip these off. See how that one just took one time? Because I had it in there pretty tight. Yes, Mary, I still have all them dang babies. <laughs> all right, let me show you the red petal, and this will be the last one. So two petals, 10 by 10, curve side up. Whatever you want to roll. If you want, if you don't want to use those, you can roll them by hand. Um, but it's hard to make sure they're all pretty much uniform. Um, oh, Pam, I don't know. She's. Tay is not making any attempt to get rid of them, but pull it out. Here's where we stopped. We're going to put that to the bottom. Flip it. But I am going to start a garden, y'all, because they 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 eat, y'all. They eat. So I'm just going to start my own parsley, cilantro. Lettuce. Yep, this is just plain deco mesh. Okay, then put side by side. And we're going to put two in each one. And if you want to put more, you can just do the shared holes and add more mesh. Totally up to you. Thanks for floating, my buddy. It's big, y'all. But what a statement it makes, right?
can see them wanting to poke up, but once we get this row on, this row will help hold down the row underneath it. This is the large flower board. How did you do this petal? Um, yeah, you'll have to watch the replay because um, I've already made them all now. Um, this is not value mesh. It is just regular full deco mesh. All right, so here is our sign. Now I did just put our cable mount on there, so I'm not gonna pull it hard. And then I'm just gonna take a pipe cleaner, and I did that with E6000. So just take our pipe cleaner, wrap it around and through. Now, if you have a smaller sign or a smaller Senna you are using, you will have to do this inside row as well. But because our sign is a little bit bigger, we do not need to do this row, okay? So let's find our top. So if you turn it over, you'll find two holes right here. That is considered the top of your board. Oh, it's big, y'all. So I'm just being very careful as I put this in there. So I'm not going to pull hard. And I think I am because we have this empty space right here. I am going to go back and add one more petal in there. It is kind of cool though to leave that white showing. It kind of gives it a different effect. But I don't necessarily like it. So I will go back. Do y'all want to stick with me while I do that? Yes, okay, let me grab the red. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need eight more pieces. So let's Add our zip ties. So add eight more pieces onto the count. And I gave the count at the beginning of the video, but I don't remember what it was. This won't take long. We do it quickly. All right, 
right, let's cut our eight pieces real quick. So 10 inches. There's Lori Franklin. Is the trial over? <laughs> She's joining us. The trial must be over. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, where'd my inside roll go? There it is. Oh, that's true. Whoever asked about this pedal fold, I'm showing you now. So 10 by 10, curl side up. Whatever you, I use the inside of a mesh roller, put it right here at the edge, roll it up, just like that, pull it out, turn it, flip it, and we will add it right to the wreath so that it fills in that gap right in between. Oh, they're at lunch. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so see how it fills in that little space? Very nicely. So one petal is all you need. <laughs> see, everyone is watching. I know, I'm not watching it. Oh, funny. I see, I see tidbits of it on the TikTok videos, and I just laugh my butt off. Yes, shared holes. Yeah, I think it, today is the end of the trial, I believe. Let's just fold all of these at once. Is today the last day, I think? Right, Kathy, me too. And I don't, I just see them when they post to Facebook. I don't even watch TikTok. <laughs> Although I did add a TikTok video this morning. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me. Maybe it'll light a fire under my butt to do more on TikTok. going to be lost. She won't know what to watch. You are late to the party. No, I don't want to be TikTok famous, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't have your personality to be TikTok famous. All right, we've got the rest. Oh, nope, there's one more. One more. Yeah, Lori, yeah, I can't beat her on TikTok. She's got that personality 
I don't. I'm just a smart butt. <laughs> I'm just a smart butt. All right. Let's get the rest of these added. up as we go. Parting the ways and making room. No thigh gaps on this one, y'all. No thigh gaps. Uh, Sharon, right? There she is. She's the one that I asked her this morning. I'm like, I want to do your wreath, please. Now, because, and you wouldn't notice this part if the whole wreath was the same color. You only notice this because it is the red, white, and blue, so it's very noticeable. But if all of this was red, you wouldn't notice this gap. Yes, I'm doing the shared holes right now. Because on the other one I did with the jute, you couldn't see this because it was all jute. Does that make sense? Oh, I did have one more. Gosh darn it. right here. It's the rolled petal. All right. We got them all in there. Whew. Because that patriotic ribbon wanted to be a part of it. And you could even make a hanging um, bow if you wanted to match. That would be awesome. Seven minutes. Okay, I'm going to hurry. Where'd my sign go? Right here. Find my top again. So there's my top. Now I did just put my cable mounts on there, so I am not going to pull it hard. Make sure. Okay, there we go. She must have. Do you know how much time he... Oh, I don't know. I 
right, Chris? All right. Whew. There we go, y'all. Note thy gaps. Look how pretty that is. Oh my God. That ring light. There you go. So if you want this when it's available, message me. It's $85. That includes shipping. Um, and that's all I got for y'all. Uh, tomorrow, VIP, I will be doing the red, white, and blue rose for y'all. Um, so that's coming um, tomorrow. I've already even got all the petals cut. Oh my gosh. Um, and then maybe I'll paint. I really have an eagle I want to paint. So maybe we'll paint the eagle. This weekend is going to be all about patriotic. All right. So get ready. If you don't like the red, white, and blue, then don't watch me this weekend. <laughs> Love y'all. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.